writing Power Query code can be fiddly. So let me show you a few magic tricks, all right? We're gonna recreate writing this little formula that gives us the refresh date. So I'm just gonna create a blank query. So right click, new query, other sources, blank query. This is in Excel Power Query, same applies in Power BI, all right? So equals, and it's date, time, okay? And then dot, ah, oh, the local now just disappeared. Did you see that? There it is, local now, but if I press the dot, it goes, that's crazy, okay? So never type the dot, and if you do type the dot and start typing and you go, oh, there you go, I'm halfway through and I click on it, oh, date time twice, awful. Never type the dot, okay? In its simplest form, if you know the word local is in there or now, just type that, okay, equals now, and then click on it. Never type the dot, okay? Open the bracket, it puts a nice closed bracket in view, press enter at the end, and there's the day, month, year, and all that sort of stuff, milliseconds, I don't want all that. So I wanna click at the start, and I wanna wrap this in a date from. So remember, never type the dot, so date, there we go, date fr, date dot from, click on that. But if I put an open bracket in, it puts the close bracket, which I have to delete and go to the end. So don't do that, okay? Here's the little trick. After you've written date from and it's, it's looking like that, don't open the bracket, do this. The shift shuffle, okay? Shift down arrow, shift open bracket. So shift and nine. And look, it puts the close bracket in for you as well. Then click the tick, and there we have it. How to wrap a function inside another function using the shift shuffle. Okay, hope you enjoy these power query tips. Like this, favorite this, follow me for more tips. Um, I'll catch you in the next video.